Hello everyone. Now this is going to be an important video for all of you who are thinking that if I start my preparation in the month of July, will I be able to complete the syllabus of the CAT exam? Will I be able to complete or uh, let's say get the desired percentile which I require to get into a top college of MBA? The answer for all those questions is yes, provided we have a very detailed and granular plan which you can execute along with the the college assignments if you are studying in the college, along with the work commitments if you are working if you are a working professional. If on a daily basis you can devote a maximum of three hours, but that's consistent three hours across the period of next five months. If you can devote, I totally understand you will be having the weekends also where you can plug in more time. But on a general weekdays, you would have to spend around three or max max three and a half hours for the entire preparation for this given examination. So this is for all of those who are still thinking: Will I be able to complete the syllabus? Will I be able to complete uh, the syllabus of just not CAT and the other examinations also? This video is going to be very very specific only for the CAT exam. I'm not going to touch any other element which comes in non-CAT examination. A lot of things which you are preparing as of now will be useful for CAT as well as non-CAT examination. But in this video, we'll talk about only and only those things which are relevant for you, CAT exam only. Before we proceed, you can look into the description box for the details of all the upcoming workshops. If you want to be a part of the night uh, class. Which happens on WhatsApp? The description, the description box. The link is already been uh, been available. And if you want to be a part of all the webinar series that we take on a daily basis, please uh, hit the bell icon and uh, subscribe to the given channel so that you get the notification. Let's quickly begin. We are discussing about a period which starts from the month of July, which goes till November. In this brief period, we'll make a month-on-month -month plan. We'll take a month-on-month -month charter. What needs to be done by you on a daily basis with respect to verbal, quant, and LRDI. Okay. One thing which which is technically wrong for all of you, which any of the aspirant will do, any as aspirant will spend almost 75 to 80 percentage of their given time only behind quant or math. But if I look at the weightage of the given exam, one third weightage is given to each of the section. Then why do you have to be so much biased? Either you are fascinated with math, or is either you are or you are afraid of math. Both the things are not good. We have to give almost equal weightage as far as possible for verbal, quant, and logical reasoning. Let's start with something what you guys would do on a daily basis for the verb brevity section. As we know, almost 24 out of 34 questions, which is more than 65 percentage of the weightage, will be given only and only to your uh, reading comprehension. So, and reading at the same time, it's 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 a matter of reading the stuff online. Even if you are an avid reader, but if you are reading fiction or non-fiction books, it's not going to help you out in the longer run unless you don't inculcate the habit of reading online. So there are two open resources which I recommend to all of you, uh, which is one of them is AllDaily.com AI Daily, and second is Opediction. What it does, all the leading newspapers across the globe, they take the amazing editorials of different journals, not just of science and technology, but also of marketing, economics, philosophy, psychology, and so on and so forth. So many journals available. On a daily basis, I want you to spend almost 20 minutes, and this is the early morning 20 minutes which you have to spend behind online reading. So it's I'm take, I usually keep a 30 minutes exercise. What I recommend, 20 minutes you will possibly take to read the passage. Okay, and you would have to judge your reading speed also in the sense of words per minute across different journals. So I know people who make an Excel sheet of various uh, rows and columns which details different journals of uh, reading comprehension, and the reading speed is evaluated on the level of words per minute speed. Let's say there's a passage of 2,000 words and you have t taken 10 minutes to read. So your effective reading speed is 200 words per minute. You would have to consistently execute this exercise for different journals. 20 minutes you are reading, and you will take 10 minutes to make a summary out of it. This is so it's not just the reading speed which is going to be important. You would also and also work on your retention skill. What is the objective if I'm on part number five, and if I forgot on what is there in part number one? So the retention skill and your reading speed, both of them will be equal matter of concern. When you're reading online, so 30 minutes of exercise will go there, where you are spending almost 10 minutes to make the summary of it, and to execute to see what level of question you can solve in the actual CAT or let's say reading comprehension question. Here you are not solving any question, so I request all of you to take one hour a day as a rigid timeline follow, which you have to uh, as a rigid timeline which you need to follow on a daily basis. This CAT, this hour C belongs to the actual CAT RC category. I am not asking you to take NMAT, SNAP or some other category of question. You will purely for the month of July specifically I have given you, you will see question CAT 2016, 17, 18 and 19. 
I will repeat. CAT is on 16, 17, 18, and 19. All the reading comprehension you will solve. You will solve questions which are based on finding the tone of the passage, finding the title of the passage, finding the sum, uh, uh, finding the inference of the passage, finding the central idea of the passage, finding the certain some arguments and inference of the given passage. These are various patterns on which the questions will be asked. If you do a thorough exercise, you will get to know CAT RCs are nowadays getting influenced by GMAT RC. So I have kept a plan what needs to be done from GMAT official guide in the month of August. But for the month of July, you will practice only and only the CAT RC. This is the schedule which you have to follow. The other elements which will come in the paper will be of para completion, para jumbled, and para summary. On a daily basis, make sure you are keeping a timeline of solving at least five, five, five questions of each type. If you are not able to understand something. What you can do, you can look at the solution and then build the approach. That's the best thing which I can advise. Look at the solution and then build the approach. Consistently, if you do it, you will you will see that you are gradually growing in the verb ability segment also of verb of VARC. In the month of July, specifically about V uh, VARC, I want you to take two sectional tests. So let's say uh, 14 days from now, whenever you are watching this video, you will take the first sectional test and 38 day from now. Which is the end of July, or possibly the first early week of August, you will take the second sectional test of verb ability. So two sectional tests you will have to and have to give for verb ability section. Now comes the important part, which is called, which either people are fascinated or people are afraid of. You could be any of these category. I have given you list of important chapters which you will go through in the month of August, uh, in the month of July. But some of you may think that okay, I have done percentage, profit and loss, all those things. I'll give you a genre of what all things you need to do, specifically of each topic. Let me name the topics which I want you to follow. In the month of July, we'll solve questions on percentage, profit and loss, mixture allegation, time spill distance, time and work, quadratic equation, and algebraic expression. Since we know the paper is going to be studied by I am indoor this time, if you look at the paper pattern, the paper pattern is more influenced or inclined towards time spill distance, quadratic equation, and algebraic expression. So for the month of July, the given three topics which I have highlighted here, you have to give a lot of emphasis on these given topics. Now, what needs to be done? So the objective is how it has to be done. I am sure you are following some of the other resources, which is of basic reference material, which is available with you. So I want you to follow the basic stuff, the advanced stuff, and the topic level test. Three things which I recommend you to give. All of you will have some of the other basic reference book. Good to go. You will solve not more than thirty questions of the given topic. Some people have a habit of solving hundred questions or dozens of questions of each chapter, so that they can pacify themselves. Okay, I'm doing good in math, but solving more number of questions will just make you efficient. It will not give you a lot of exposure. So, on the basic level, solve only thirty questions. On the advanced level, if you have the MBAP books or, or the e-books, that's well and good. If not, then you can follow the resource of Arun Sharma, LOD two and three. From the advanced material, you'll solve almost forty questions of the given chapter, percentage, profit loss, and the given chapters. And then you will take a topic level test. Sub, all of you would have to give at least two topic level tests of each given topic which is being mentioned. If you have the MBA P test series, well and good. If not, whatever you are following, please do that. But two topic level tests of each chapter. But don't don't juggle around. So what I recommend, if you are following percentage percentage का basic पहले करो, then the advanced material PDFs which you have got, and then the test series. Once you are thoroughly done with percentage, then only go on the other topics which I have mentioned here. It's not the case that first you complete the basics of all, and then you take the advanced portion of the given chapters. Doesn't help you. And then in the month of July also you will take two sectional tests, one after 14 days and one after 30 days. You would have to and have to take. Last comes the logical reasoning and data interpretation section. I have seen a lot of people who waste their time in logical reasoning section, as far as analytical reasoning is concerned. But as far as CAT is going to be concerned, analytical reasoning does not come in the paper. Topics like syllogism, input-output, coding, decoding, letter relation—all these things will never come in the examination. It's a very sorted paper. You basically have four LR caselets, and you have got four DI caselets. These are intense. These are calculation intense, or could be way much more, way much more puzzled. Uh, so it requires a lot of insight for us to solve this question. So first thing which I want you to have zero focus on the relevant topics. If you generally want to follow only CAT, obviously it's not recommended for people who are Keeping equal priority for SNAP and MAT and ZAT and IFT, people who are hardcore uh, fan of only one CAT exam or let's say ZAT exam will follow this routine. They will keep zero focus on the relevant topics. For the month of July, what I want you to take one RC, uh, one uh, logical 
puzzle and one DI case like a day. And this is purely of the CAT level of difficulty. I have given you the resource of CAT 2008, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13. There are six years papers which I which is available on Google also. What you can do? Start practicing one logical reasoning caselet and one DI caselet and make sure you have intense the big level difficulty questions. It may happen that you are not able to solve the question. That's okay. What I recommend is look at the solution and build the approach. It's not the case you have to bring ego into picture that if I'm not able to solve then what? If I'm able to solve then what? You have to learn to become better. So how do you learn? Either ask your mentors, either ask your peers or look at the solution or build the approach. Slowly, slowly you'll be able to take uh, able to see that you are gradually increasing your speed, your accuracy in LRDI section. So this is the papers which I want you to solve for the month of July. Again, two sectional tests for the month of July. One after 14 days, second after 30 days from the time you are watching this video will also help you out. By the end of July, I want you to take at least one full length mock. At least one full length mock. You can fix up a date. So some people who have uh, solved half of the given, jo uh, let's say, topics, in the month of June or April or May, I want them to give at least two full length tests. People who are starting fresh will take at least one full length test. People who are mediocrely prepared for the given examination will take at least two sectional tests, one after 15 days, second after 30 days. And you would have to take an Excel sheet, make an Excel sheet with the difficulty level, with the kind of topics, how many questions came from each topic, your accuracy level in each topic have to be gauged. That is something that will give, give us a sense that what is our strong point and what is our weak point, which will help us with analysis. Let's come to the month of August. Verbal abilities and RC section. So the first 40 minutes of your exercise is going to be consistent. This will not change. You will spend that time in online reading, one passage or editorial and second one RC a day. As you can see, the only change which I bring in from the month of July or August is the CAD papers you will solve. It's 2013, 14 and 15. And then what I recommend you to take one GMAT RC a day. So you will have a habit of one CAT RC a day and one GMAT RC a day. So you can take GMAT official guide. If you do not have 2021, then take 2020, nothing to worry about. But start solving <coughs> the GMAT RC also. Initially, it's going to be difficult. But again, look at the solution and build the approach as the philosophy which we can keep to help ourselves. Next is verbal ability. It's consistent. Five questions on each variety is something that we will do on a daily basis. Coming to Kant. Now, all the topics as you can see here is the, are the favorite topics of IIM Indore. So, I know it's advanced, but that's the reality. So, if you look at 2013 paper, 2014 paper, it's almost on the same lines. Questions on inequalities, number system, permutation combination, probability, logs and search and dices. So, you have to take the maximum effort in the month of August. I also advise you to follow the revision plan, which you need to do in the month of August, that whatever you have studied, in the month of July, you will come and study here. Now, what you need to know, what you need to know here is that how many subtopics, how many subtopics comes of each given topic of inequalities. There's a, um, let's say, there's a concept of non-negatives. Uh, there are so many concepts which are there in number systems. So, first, keep a plan of getting thorough exposure of each and every subtopic. And then each of the subtopic, you will solve 5 to 10 questions. Again, the objective is simple. Of each given topic, you will first solve the basic 30 questions, the advanced 40 questions, and then the topic level test 1 and 2 of the MBAP test series. You will follow that. LRDI is something which will I'll keep it consistent. By 15th of August, I want you to have a thorough exposure about each and every genre of LR and DI caselet which can ever be possible, be it of go on games or tournament, be it of complex arrangement, be it distribution, whatever it is, you should have a thorough list of what topics usually comes in LR and DI. And then of each genre, of each genre of LR and DI, I want you to practice five caselets of each of LR and DI in the month of August. From the CAD questions, you'll solve the 14, 15 and 16 paper. In the month of August also, there's one thing which is consistent. In the month of August, you will take at least three sectional tests. These sectional tests is going to be of VA, CONT and LR DI and you will write four full length mock tests, which is called as FLT. Consider it to be week one, week two, week three, and week four. The objective is, is from week one to week two, if the scores are not improving, you will spend more time in sectional tests uh, rather than solving more number of full length tests. So it's not a rigid thing that you have to follow four full length tests. If the scores are gradually going up, it's good. If not, you have to find out the reason, bring back your preparation plan to basics, 
and then again for the advance and then give a topic level test and then give a full section test you will see your scores will gradually improve in the full length test again coming to the month of september it's again important so again the thing which is consistent is reading reading and reading which you will do from the given the source in the month of september you will solve two hours a day one of cat and second of gmat that's a rigid timeline which you have to follow cat 2010 11 and 12 paper and september is a most crucial month so 10 para summary 10 para completion 10 para jumbled on a daily basis is something which you will solve the last element that i want to touch upon is geometry which will be slightly intense so you have questions on geometry it will go mensuration and coordinate geometry okay now things which are really important is you have questions on geometry you have questions on mensuration these two are the most important but rego and uh, coordinate if you are not able to do it you can skip it please don't mind okay only questions on heights of heights and distance i repeat you can pin down it questions of heights and distance heights and distance will be important as far as i am and those is going to be concerned you you might have seen the questions of ladder or something else where the uh, Foot of the ladder has been stretched to one or two centimeter down, and it gets pulled down. Finding the length of the uh, ladder, finding the vertical height, or the or the distance between ladder and the wall, are the questions which usually will be asked to you in this. LR and DI. Let's keep it more monotonous here. You will solve two LR puzzles and two DI cases on a daily basis of cat level difficulty, and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, all the four papers. the entire logical case sets and the ai case sets you will solve for the given examination okay in the month of september also i want you to solve four full length test and then three sectional test of the given topics consider it to be week 1 week 2 week 3 and week 4 but not so if you are not able to solve four of them if the scores are not improving not less than two is accepted in the month of september that you will not solve it even two full length mock tests in the month of september so that's a humble request you will do and do it coming to the month of october and november november 29th will be your examination day right so again here so you have to follow one of the important resources which is called as face to face cat it's a very amazing book which compiles all the cat level all the actual previous year questions of cat but topic wise you will start solving questions of face to face cat of face to face cat not just of coin but lrdi and verbal also along with this you will also solve 2004 5 6 7 are full length papers which you will solve along with the face to face cat questions the general routine is following one gmat rc one cat rc two lr puzzle two di case sets you will revise all the things and the concepts whichever you have learned in math or coin in the month of october again i have planned for four full length test which you have to and have to plan October is the last time when you can actually see any improvement in scores, and then three sectional mock. So four is the uppermost number which I want. Minimum would be two mocks, which you will get. In the month of November, you have to calm down. Whatever you have studied till now is going to come in the paper. That's the psychology which you will have to keep. Don't be into immense pressure. That still the syllabus has not been done. You have done enough justice to the preparation. Follow the routine of face to face cat all the questions. So that's by hook or by crook. Follow all the question. Not able to understand. Look at the solution and building approach. 2008, 9, 10, 11. All the questions you will solve. As we know, I am Indore is going to be more concerned with respect to uh, topics like algebra, arithmetic, uh, not the arithmetic, modern math and numbers. So you will solve questions on polynomials, questions on quadratic equation, inequalities, permutation, combination, functions, logs, and number system, which are slightly advanced. So plan for that. That you have to focus more on revision in the last one month also. for verbal more gym, the only and only focus which i want to keep would be on a gmat and the cat rc and you will revise all the puzzles which you have solved you will write two full length test one after 15 days and next after 10 days so let's say uh 25th of november would be the last day when you can write the mock and you will also have to plan the pre sectional test in the month of november so that's a comprehensive plan which i can give you for the five months which you have to and have to follow uh if you have any questions you can put into the comment box you can join all the possible groups that you can see here and in the description box all the link has been given to you i wish you all the very best for the upcoming examination series i wish you all the very best for the upcoming exam thank you